Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Mariah from the Allen County Public Library, and I am going to be doing an acrylic painting class today. Those of you who have come to our other acrylic painting classes know that um, we've been doing this since, what was it, 2016, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> so, super excited that we are, are working on you know, coming up our fifth year. Many of you have came, many of you are regulars. Um, unfortunately, the last one we had was mm, around this time last year. And you know, with uh, the COVID virus, we just had to suspend those types of programs because we can't meet in large groups. However, there's a vaccine, yay. And hopefully in the next two to three months, those of us that want to take it can. And hopefully it'll, you know, it'll stomp this thing down and we can start meeting again. Because I really do meet, you know, miss you guys. I really do. And um, so here I am in all my glory without all my peeps to, to bounce ideas off of and, and talk to. And that was one of my most favorite things when I would do this program was a, I'd walk around and, and look at what everybody's doing. And, you know, now it's just me and I'm truly not that exciting. <laughs> so I, uh, each time I have a program, I usually talk to somebody who's been in my programs and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm kind of running low on ideas. What's an idea? Well, this time, of course, because, you know, we're, we're here at the library all by ourselves. I asked Miss Delonda, and Miss Delonda said, a cow, because, you know, she has cows. And so I was like, yeah, a Christmas cow. So I started surfing Pinterest, and I got this lovely lady right here. I tweaked her a little bit, and uh, we're, I'm going to show you what I did to get her. So, and like I've always said, you know, this is going to hang in your house. This is going to be your art, you know, maybe you have a cousin, a, a mama, a grandma, and a dad that loves cows and you want to do a painting for Christmas. So here you are. Now the original had a piece of um, mistletoe above. So I opted for an ornament because you know, we're not supposed to be kissing and being all close. So <laughs> we're gonna do an ornament instead. Uh, and also, it's a little easier to draw out and paint than mistletoe, because y'all know I don't like I don't like painting leaves. Y'all already know that about me. Um, super fun. The hardest part about her was just the sketching out, because you know as well as I do, you start sketching and it's like it doesn't look right or her head and the body. You know, I'm I'm gonna show you how I did it for, you know, for what it's worth. Just remember, pencil. Now, I've got this in a little sharp, so if your pencil is a little sharper than it probably needs to be, don't, remember, don't press down too hard because you'll poke through your canvas. Um, also, don't go very dark because if you do mess up and you erase, you want to, you don't want those lines to be there. Although, even though there's white, it's pretty thick, so hopefully that won't be an issue. Uh, not a whole lot of colors in this one. Of course, you see the black and the white. You've got the red in which we use some of the red for the pink. In fact, I, don't, I didn't even bring a pink. I just used, that's, that's red and white. Um, and, and if you want to, you can make your cow brown. You can make your cow polka dotted. You can make your cow however you wanna make your cow. That's, you know, if you want all white with one black eye to look like the dog off of the Little Rascals, do you, boo. It's your painting. Um, of course, you know, just the red and the sand, a lot of black, uh, just the little bow. You know, we're, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So, are you guys ready? Beginning of all my classes, what do I say? It's just colors and shapes. Don't stress out your painting if you want a different color hat ornament whatever it's your painting it's hanging in your house 
do whatever you want to, different background color. It's your, your painting. You do whatever it is that you want. I'm just gonna show you the basic steps and then I'm gonna paint it and then I'll have two paintings. Although Miss Melissa here at the library's already claimed Miss Christmas Cow here. <laughs> she was like writing me notes. I want this, I love this. This Christmas Cow and I'm like, okay. So we're gonna give it to her. Uh, so you guys ready? I'm ready. I know I can sit here and talk to you guys all day. Even though you're not here, I know that you guys are watching it. I really do miss you guys. Okay, so here we go. Ready, ready, okay. So I'm gonna turn around here. It, I wish I was like Bob Ross and I had like all the, you know, the camera guy moving around, but I'm not that cool. So it's just me. And we're in the Noble Allen room. So we always know that at some point the lights will go out. I may have to get up and trigger them just just for the fact of trying to get this painting done um most of y'all do not never i hardly ever never use a can uh easel so just bear with me okay so how i'm gonna start is i'm i'm just gonna shape out her head now her lip area i found out as i was painting most of that was done. I did I did a sketch, so give me an idea of where where everything was going. But most of that was done during painting. I realized, oh, you know, her mouth doesn't look just exactly like I want it to, so I had to tweak it during the painting process. But we'll get there when we get there, right? I'm jumping ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna start just just a little above halfway up the canvas about middle way, and I'm just gonna drop down to make her her head. And I'm gonna come down, now this side isn't as curved, so, and again, a lot of that was done during the painting process. So I'm gonna more straight, and then I'm gonna come in, okay? And we're we'll bringing it a little closer so you guys can see it, okay? And that ring light sometimes messes with my eyes, so I can't really see at this angle what you guys are seeing, okay? So now I'm gonna put the hat in just to kind of give me an idea of where I'm gonna place the ears. I gotta remember I still have an ornament up here, a hat, and all that. You know, just keep in mind while you're sketching this out, all the other things you still have to, to be putting in there, right? Okay, so you're like, okay, that, this, leap of faith, right? So, I can already tell Like this ear, I'm, I'm already over a little too much, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the floppy part of my Santa hat. Okay. There's the one ear. And the reason I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the floppy part because it's gonna help me determine where I'm gonna put that second ear, okay? So, from the edge of the ear over. So now can you already tell where, where I've messed up? Up here. So what I'm gonna do is 
I think I'm really messed up, but I, I need to. Because when I was, you know, of course, when I was sketching that out, I was setting up stairs. And, of course, we don't have any patrons right now coming in. So, it's a whole lot easier, you know, to, to tweak and mess and move. Okay, so I've got that. So, I'm going to come down from the bottom of the hat, just maybe half an inch or so. And drop my ear. And even in this one, the ear's a little bit bigger. I don't like that shape. Okay, there we go. And y'all always know my sketches, like the painting I do in the class with you guys never looks exactly the same as the one that I did. On my own okay so I can already tell like I'm gonna have to make my uh, string a little bit shorter with this one I did go all the way around the edges okay so this one we're gonna do the same we're just gonna just start our ribbon up here and we're just going to bring it down over that edge and drop it down just a little because, again, you see what I've done. I've not given myself much room up here. Okay. So, like that. So, I'm going to hold it a little closer because this is a little more detail. And I'm just going to make just where my bow is going to come together. I'm just going to go up like this. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to come out from the ribbon a little bit, then like that. Okay. And this one, I'm going to, the little knot, I'm going to pull out, drop down. So it's very generic, very basic looking. How I'm gonna fix this is in the painting process, okay? So just, yeah, you're like, oh no, and no, it's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw a little line for my hook and come out and make a little rectangle where the, the sides are gonna come in a little bit on the bottom. And this is the hardest part because even that one, it didn't come out very pretty. And just make a little tiny ornament, okay? And if you wanna do mistletoe, you can, you can look it up on Pinterest, Christmas cow with mistletoe and you'll find her. So, okay, so we've got our ornament, our bow, the basic shape of our cow head, now the cow body. So, right here's like her cheek line. We're just gonna drop down and just kind of curve it a little bit. Okay, like that. This one, we're gonna come up a little higher and just Because really, her body has doesn't have a whole lot of shape to it. Because what you're looking at is just the basic shoulders and neck of, of the cow. Then we're just going to draw a circle. And we're going to puff that out with paint. So, all's good there. 
Okay, now we've got like this basic weird shape, <laughs> bunch of shapes. And we're gonna start tying it all in together. So we're gonna start with this eye over here. And what I did when I was, I was sketching it out, I just kind of come up here just to kind of give me an idea of my placement of things. I just drew in the, the white, the shape that the white was going to be in. Okay. Just kind of kept me focused in. Okay. So with her, this one, I, and you're going to notice you're not going to, because thinking about a real cow, their eyes aren't like ours. When you look at us straight on, you see both corners of our eyes. You see the whole eye. Well, the cow, you know, that's not, because their, their eyes set more on the sides. So, they'll be freaked out, because we're not, we're not seeing the outside corners of her eyes. So I'm just gonna do it just like that, okay? And then this eye, the same thing. Okay. And as long as it's not really evident, like one eye's this big, one eye's this big, it, it's okay that they're not perfectly shaped because none of our eyes are. I have to explain this to my daughter all the time. She was like, but this and this. And I was like, honey, no, we're not supposed to be, you know, mirror image on each side. It's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here. And this, this part was a little more difficult for me. And, and I don't, and I don't know why, but it just really was. Okay, so, just started with just a line like that. I'm gonna come down. And like I said, some of this was done during the painting process. And you see I've come outside, that's okay. Because again, the painting process. It, it, it all works out, I promise. So I'm gonna just get rid of those lines. I'm gonna come out. Okay. And now you're like, oh, what has she done when we, we start painting? And of course, you guys that have been with me for a while, you're like, yeah, this is, this is how she rolls. And then I'm just going to, so that when it comes, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes time to paint, we'll kind of know where her nostrils are at. Okay. <laughs> Are y'all trusting me so far? I hope so. <laughs> Those of you guys that have been with me for a few years, you're like, yeah, just just roll with her. She's she's kooky, but she's she's got it. Okay, so we can already tell this sketch and that cow are gonna look a little different. And I mean, this year I painted several baby Yodas. 
several. And uh, everyone looks similar. Like when you stand them up side by side, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. But there's always something different because each time you sketch something out, it just, it just never comes out the same. That's like a lot of the Monet's that look the same, but if you look at them closely, you're like, oh, I, yeah, I can see that, you know, water lilies one and water, water lilies, say that fast, uh, three, they don't look the same. Okay. Yay. So we, we've got our sketch out. I'm just going to knock off some of that, uh, lovely eraser uh, residue. So I've got my little trusty rag. That's what I've been playing with, putting it in my lap because y'all know I'm messy. So what I did for the background, and at the end of this video, you guys will see, I've got, um, I'll have photographs of the paints I use, what step I'm at when I did this one. So it'll also give you like a, a picture thing, you know, pictorial to go by. So, I chose, of course, sky blue, cobalt blue, my favorite favorite in the whole wide world, Viridian, and some white. Okay, so this white's a little low, so, but we, we want to use it. I'm just going to go ahead and take the lid off and put it on there because... I will be using more of it, as you guys see, because, you know, there's like, quite a bit of white in this painting. So I'm just going to lay that to the side. The background on this is super fun. I'll, I'll bring that painting up closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to close that. It's kind of streaky, just really fun. Um... And always, anytime I see stuff like that, it kind of gives me a farmhouse feel, like the streakiness of the, the painting. And I'm going to put a whole lot of dark blue in there. Okay, so, see? Whoop, there we go. That light kind of got it, didn't it? Bring it to the side so you can kind of see it too. Okay, so that's what, that's what we're going for. Or that's what I was, that's what I went for. You guys know y'all can do it any way you want. If you don't want like this, this wintry blue background and you want to, I mean, you can do whatever you want. That's why I love you guys because you will. Okay, so I'm just loosening up my brush. This. So I'm going to put a little white. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of the Viridian. Just like dabs back and forth. Okay. And then, uh, where, where to start? Anywhere you want. I'm just going to start up here in the corner. And as you see, I'm just making very long, fun swipes over. Just like that. I'm going to actually bring it down here. Where, and then I'm going to, I'm going to dip it in a little bit of that, uh, um, sky blue, just like that, and I'm just going to add streaks here and there, okay, and I'm going to dip it in the white, still has that viridian on there, which is fine, because we're just mixing all this in together, right, work all that in, okay, just like that, add the white, just doing the, the ledge here, a little bit of trim. Okay. I think this one's gonna be a little more Viridian, maybe. Add more white to kind of blend all this in. Then, uh, I don't know, I'll throw, I'll throw some sky blue to it. Mix all that in up and down the spine here. And then I'm gonna come over here and start working this in. Now, you see I'm getting a little bit on my cowl, but that's okay. And I'm also moving along because I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, she's taking forever. 
a little extra paint on there. So I'm gonna work that out. Throw a little white to it to help spread it out. And again, you'll see here in a minute because this paint, I just dipped it in the water a little bit to help smooth it out. Cause sometimes the paint gets a little thick, which this is all pretty new paint. Cause you know, had a lot of stuff planned for us guys <laughs> this past year. And in the spring, like early spring, I did a huge paint order. And then it was like, sorry, Charlie, no can do. Okay, so let's see what I've got going on here. I do want it to be lighter, you know, cause I don't know, I just do. I'm adding a little more water to it to help smooth all of this out. Just like that. I'm just running it along the edge of the cow body. This is this is how it's kind of looking right now. And you can tell, I mean, looking at it, you're like, oh yeah, and I'm gonna put a couple of streaks of that dark in there. You know, you can tell it's the, the same colors and, and possibly even the same artist doing it, but it's a little different. Throw a little white in there, smear all that out, smear it, blend it streak it, whatever you want to say. Okay, I'm coming down along the edge of the cow head. Somebody's walking around upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna scoot my water a little closer because it's, I really want to wipe, woo, haha, <laughs> see? I'm gonna wipe some of that water off because it started to run a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I turned it upside down on y'all, didn't I? It's okay. At home, I don't even use an easel. I paint on a really cool ottoman, Miss Jamie, and her mom found for me at a yard sale. I just, paint all hunched over and then by the end of the night, especially if I'm doing something, I'm, I'm actually doing a top secret Christmas present right now for a gentleman. And uh, it, it's a lot, <laughs> it, it's a, uh, it's really gonna push my, my skills to the, the point and I'll be painting, I'll stand up and I'm like grumbling and stretching. Okay, so we got some cow there. And like I said, you know, you don't have to do, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm never one that says, oh, well, you have to do the edges and it's totally up to you. This one, I just felt like it'd be good to do the edges. Okay, so I'm working in over here. You can see I kind of left that one little area out and I want to make sure that I blend this good because I don't want like it to be more blue over here and then all of a sudden it's very viridian on this side. Viridian, blue green for you Beetlejuice fans out there. Uh, so I'm just gonna work around in there. And again, don't stress out if you get it a little bit on, you know, something else. Cause you know, we're, we're gonna be painting those too. In fact, I'm just gonna put that in the water, let it chill for a second. This little guy. We're gonna get him some viridian, some white, little sky blue, get him all loaded up, just rub it all in there. And then I'm gonna just work around this bow area. You guys still with me? <laughs> Yeah, this is the time that I would be like, 
I'd be walking around because typically there's been a few times that I've done paintings right along with you guys. But this is the time that I'll be walking around and getting people paint or water or answering any questions they have during this process. And that's why I miss you guys not being here because, you know, this is fun because I feel like I'm talking to you guys and, and interacting in a way, but I just really don't, I don't like this as much as the real class. But knowing you guys are safe at home, and possibly doing this painting along with me makes me feel good. Okay, so I try to streak that as much as possible so that it, it'll look like I wasn't concentrating so hard on that, okay? So, gradient and white, sky blue, work it into the brush, and we'll come in here again. Get a little white to help bring that down. And as always, you guys know, I'm always here. Most of you are friends of mine on Facebook. But uh, my email address is mariah at allencountylibrary.com. So if you ever have any questions, feel free. Even if I'm not here at the library, I'm, I'm always working. We're always working. So uh, just shoot me a message. And even if it's on the weekend, it's on a Sunday and you and your, your family, your girlfriends or whoever decide you want to try a painting and you have a question about something I did on a video, just, just send me a message. I would love that. Okay, so I'm gonna work this up here at the top. Just kind of work it in. Get up here where you guys can see it. Yeah. Definitely miss you guys a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna get that a little wet. And hopefully, we can, it won't be another year before we meet again. It sure will be nice when we can all get back together, right? So I'm gonna, Finishing this up up here. Up, 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 up. <laughs> I'm still as goofy as I ever was, people. I'm just not goofy for a bigger crowd. Okay, so I am just working that edge. Work a little white in there because it's like really blue. Maybe mix some viridian in there. Lighten it up. And I made sure to wear something today that I got a little paint on it. It might hurt my feelings a bit, but not a whole lot. Because y'all know me. I can just look at a tube of paint and there you go. i am got paint on me. Okay, so. All right. That was stressful, wasn't it? That little area up there. So I'm going to give my big paintbrush back out. Loaded up with all my blues. Yeah, I'm even going to get just a dab of that dark blue. Work it all in. Just like that. Looks like marble. And the good thing about acrylic, now it's still it's a little tacky over here on the edge, but it's it doesn't stay super wet long. Okay, so we're going to work that brush. Um, still do the same thing. I'm getting it all... And you can see all the different streaks and colors that are showing up, and that's okay. Because like I said, we want it, we don't want it uniform. Or you might. Totally up to you. Okay. 
You always know when I'm concentrating because I don't talk. along the edge of that Santa hat. Okay. So I'm gonna load up again. This is the fun part. You just just go into town. bit of white come out right there. That's cool. I like that. And if you're following along with me at home and you're already past this point, you can go ahead and start getting your colors for the next part, which we're going to work on the hat. And white red and black. That's all we used for it, or all I used for it. I'm gonna work this down in here, along the cow body and around the, the ball of the hat. Get up here in the corner very carefully and just come down. So like I said, don't stress out, but don't don't get yourself in a pickle where here in a minute you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know where this stopped and, you know, so. We're coming down, a little white, getting a little dark, so I want to put a little bit of white to it. Maybe a little viridian in there. There we go. Yeah, a little little extra green in there. All right, yeah. There we go. Let's go ahead and streak it up a little bit. Okay, so there's our cow background. Now this is still a little damp. Um, I got a little, see a little canvas up there. So I'm gonna let it dry while we work on the Santa hat. And then we'll come back in and we'll add our stars. So, um, and and most of you guys know the, the end of your paintbrush makes perfect dots and stars. And there's even some, you can see them like here and here where I took silver and, and painted like a little star, a little star symbol there. All right, let's see what we've got, folks. With that, first, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna clean that brush. I like using the same brush here. Just gonna clean it out. Throw water everywhere, because that's what I do. Okay, I'm gonna cross, come up, I'm gonna come across you guys. Red, permanent. Red. And like I said, at the end, I'm going to have all these, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'll, I'll have all this photographed. And it does, you know, if you don't have permanent red at home, don't freak out. Just bright red, red, red of any kind. There are a couple of, you know, a couple of reds that incorporate more orange and stuff. So just be mindful of that. Okay, we just loaded our brush up. I'm gonna hold it very carefully and then I'm just gonna color. Let's color in that hat. Go along the edges. All in there. Okay. Load my brush up again. Just a whole little 
just working paint out on my brush when I do that. Load my brush up again. And come along this edge. I hope you guys are, have a good holiday planned. I know things are looking a little different this year, but and I know people aren't going to be able to get together, but you know, you can you can go see grandma, but do it safely. Don't don't leave her sitting by herself. Just do it safely. You may not get to hug her. You may have to stand across the room from her or be outside. Hopefully Christmas day will be mild. But at least, at least let her know, or grandpa or your mom, your dad, just let her know you love them. Yeah. And then work toward the idea that everyone will be healthy next year and then get, everybody can get together. And loading up your brush. And I'm just going along that that edge. And and what I'm gonna do after I get the the cow ear painted. Well, in fact, I'll do it along the top to show you. I'm gonna go along the edges and give it kind of a, a furry look. And I'll show you with the one I've already painted. So I'm coming down to this point. Oh, my belly just ground, sorry. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna put this in my water. You'll see there's little tiny edges. And I get to use one of my favorite brushes to do this. Where did it go? It's in there. Ah, yes. Love this brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it just in the tip area. And then I'm gonna smush it down a little bit, kind of work it into there. Work it into there. I'm glad y'all love me because I don't know if most people take it on top. So I'm going to just go along the edges just very carefully and finely. Just very. <laughs> so you can see, it just has a little. And this is, this is just your detail work. Make it a little more real looking. Though I don't, I don't really like, now there are some paintings that I've seen that look like a photograph and they're amazing. But usually those type of paintings, the reason I really like them is because they're, they're either very small or very gigantic. And uh, that's what interests me. If I want a photograph, I'll take a photograph. If I want a painting, I'll do a painting. That's why I try to tell people, don't stress out because it doesn't look real. I mean, it's a painting. We wanted a a picture of a cow with a Santa hat on. I'm sure Miss Delanda would let me throw a Santa hat on one of her cows and take a quick picture and then get away quickly. Because even though cows, we tend to think of them as slow and, and but Cows can be very dangerous, so you need to be careful if you're around one that you're not familiar with. 
as if you're not familiar with it, it's not familiar with you. All right. So I've just went around the hat. If I'm making, like I want to make sure that you guys are getting this. I'm just doing the little This way. Yep, he's upside down again. Put those little edges in there. Okay. All right, so you see the little rough edges along the set hat, and you see I didn't do it here because we're gonna paint that black and then we'll do it. All right. So you can see with the, the Santa hat and other, there, there is some um, color differences, some shading and things like that. So I'm gonna get my black, permanent black. A lot of permanent stuff around here. Okay, right now I'm just gonna put just a little little bitty dot of black there and just kind of work it around into my brush because I don't okay so I'm just gonna go up around like I feel like I'm not with you guys okay just work it there then in the where the hat is bent over so I'm just gonna do some little dots like that and then over here, where it's probably not getting as much uh, light, clean my brush out, drying it off, and then just gonna work it. it again. Let's see. I got a, my apron on. So I want to get a little eye not white. Silly Miss Mariah. You don't want to turn it pink. Put my brush up with the red. And just kind of go in. Work it even down in here. And if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. If you just want like a solid red hat, then you can. Now I'm gonna trying to that ring light sometimes messes with me. Just make sure I get it all how I want it to look. Okay. So we're gonna put that there. Santa hat almost done. Let's see, we got a little white going on down here. So I'm gonna get a brush like this, number 12. It's seen better days, but that's okay. Just gonna load it up with white. I'm gonna, and you see, I'm just kinda going all around in different directions. Cause I want it to look kinda textured. Right? So just a plain old, you know, ball at the end of your Santa hat's no fun, right? Then, just 
just gonna load it up and kind of pat it just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go along the edges and dab along up on the red just a tad bit. And I'll show you what I do in a second. It's the big white fuzzy ball at the end of your Santa hat. Just some dabbing and some circle, just fill it in and it you can see the texture of it. That's good. Texture on that's perfect. Okay. Here we go. Uh now let's let's uh, let's get a little more black. And we're gonna go ahead and paint his ears. And I'm gonna use this brush here. Okay. I'm just gonna load it up with black. And then I'm just gonna go to town. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing with his ears that I did with the Santa hat. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna brace it on the table here. I'm gonna go around the edges and uh, make it kind of, you know, furry looking. Cause I don't know about y'all, but a cow up close is a, uh, he looks like he hasn't combed his hair in a few days. The cow lick is named that because cows, cows are kind of funny looking right up close. Okay, so I've worked it in, flattened it out a little bit, and then I'm just gonna go along my edges. And this, I'm, you know, I'm actually gonna be a little a little more crazy about it. The cow fur. the edges. I love seeing the cows that are all like wild and crazy. I think they're uh, Norwegian cows of some kind maybe. I don't, the Scotland cows. Have you seen those? Miss Amanda here at the library loves them. Okay so I've just made him kind of fluffy and, and furry. So I'm gonna go over here. And the reason I'm going ahead and doing the ears is because they're behind, okay? So when I do the, the fluff on the hat and the rest of the fluff on the, um, the, the, the floppy part of the hat, it, it's gonna go over this. Okay. Down and around. Now this one's not gonna probably look as great as that one over there because, well, it took me longer to do that one because I, as I was doing it, I was making mental notes. You know, what, what do I need to tell them as we're doing this? And I was paying more attention to things. Okay. I'm, I keep looking to make sure that I'm like still in screen and
All right. So we've got it done. So now I'm going to load up my brush, but I'm going to flatten it out. And then I'm going to go along the edges. Get that fur look. Okay. Just, just pulling out and I'm using the very tip. So you see how it's kind of pointy and, and scraggly there on the end? That's what I want. And you, you all, everybody has a paintbrush that kind of looks like that. You, can, you don't have to use one exactly like this. Hey, his ears are done. Yay! <laughs> all right. So let's see, where do, you, where do we want to go next? Uh, so we're going to let this, the, this area dry a little bit. So let's go up here and work on our Christmas ornament. Um, you're going to need a, a smaller brush, like maybe something like that. I'm just going to stick with what I did on that one. And I'm going to load it up and kind of flatten it out with red paint. Okay where we went up here at the top. I'm just gonna paint, color all that in. Yeah, that's a little, that was a little much. Okay, I wiped a little bit of it off because it was starting to interfere with my paint job here. I know my hand's in the way, I apologize. So I just colored that in, just like that. You see me, <laughs> stuck to that. Okay, and I'm gonna get just a little bit of paint on the end. Let's see, yeah, there we go. And I'm just gonna color in a little knot. Okay, it's very, And then I'm just going to come around. Color in that bow. Okay. I don't want to get too much paint on my paintbrush at a time because, you know, I don't want it to. Be a mistake that I'm like, oh man, now I really got to do some some work on that one. So I'm gonna get that in there. So have you guys read anything good? Uh, you know, like maybe a good Christmas story, good Christmas book. I uh. Y'all know I tend to, to read stuff and, and watch stuff that's a little more macabre. I don't, I don't always migrate toward the warm and fluffy. Uh, you know, like a little murder mystery, you know, bed body, maybe just a smidge of romance, but not much. I, uh, I did, however, and I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her a plug. Uh, Sheila has written a little um, novella called Sass, um, Sassy Creek Christmas, and it's about a Christmas parade in a little town, and it's their first Christmas parade ever, and it's. For this little girl in the community and she has cancer and she's in the hospital and and it's locally based so she mentions areas that we know and stuff it is a really good book you need to uh, 
go on her Facebook page and sign up because it's free. Like you sign up and you go, uh, you get an email from her and you, you get to read the book for free. And it is so good. And it, it had that, you know, okay, so you see what I've done? I've made a little dark and then just a little line because right now what I'm doing is I'm defining the ribbons in the bow, okay? I got to talk about a book and I got sidetracked. <laughs> uh, but it's so good. Okay, so I'm going to take just a line out down here at the bottom. Can you see what I've done? So now you're like, oh! Oh, okay, it's still not a perfect bow, but at least it, it looks more like one. But yeah, you really do. If you want something that is just going to cheer you up and, and, but you know, for a minute or two, you're like, like with real life, is this really going to, is this really going to work out kind of thing? You really do need to read it. And it's not even anywhere near anything I read normally, but it's a quick little read. I, I think that I think you'll really enjoy it. Okay, so I just did a black line, just a little black line along the bottom of this ribbon, but then I'm going to go over here and do one along the top of that one. Nothing really fine-tuned, just, just enough to make it look like a ribbon, a bow, yeah. Um, then I'm going to go just very, I've got I got it flattened out, not a lot of paint on it. I'm just going to go along the top here and along the edges of the the knot, kind of define it. I'm looking to see what it, okay. And then I'm going to go along the edge of the, the hanging down ribbon. Just kind of make it a little more defined. And I'm looking to see, because I got a little speck of white here, so I'm just going to fill it in just a smidge. Okay. Then I'm going to clean this brush off. Like that. And then I'm going to get just a pinch of white, just a very teeny tiny. And I'm going to just run it along the inside and up along the top of this. There you go. <laughs> Still kind of lopsided and weird, but now you're like, oh, it's a ribbon. Okay. She hasn't completely lost her mind. Okay, and then I'm going to, again, just on the very tip of my brush, and I'm going to go down and fill in that line that's gonna connect our ornament to our ribbon at the top. And see, <laughs> I told you guys. All right, so I'm gonna use a little silver. Silver gold. I used to be one of my favorite frosty. Isn't that frosty or is it Rudolph? Anyway, that's one of my favorite songs. I think my grandparents had a, an album they used to play that had all those fun songs on it. Okay. And all I'm doing with this is I'm just coloring in the cap. Okay. Now I made that one green, so I'm going to make this one green too. Because I don't want to, I don't want to get everything, I don't get all crazy on you. Okay, so this is light green. Just a little bit because this is all I'm going to be using it. Uh, okay, this is a good brush. And our cup is already filling up with brushes. Okay. And I'm just going to load it up. I'm just gonna color in this ornament. I'm biting my lid, I'm sorry. 
I'm concentrating. Okay. Draw that in. Okay, got a little green ornament there. Then I'm going to get this is sap green. And honestly, like I just need a just just enough of it. Let's see, hold on, right, right there. Like just not not a lot at all. Just enough to do a little highlighting. I'm just going around the outside of my ornament. ornament. I always say that word a little wrong. Okay, and then just take the paint off my brush, use that paint. And then light olive green, and I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna use what's in that cap. Okay. I might not even use all that. And I'm just gonna just put a little color up here at the top. Okay. There you go. So that's done. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so it has taken us an hour for all my, you know, yakking at the start and getting this far, sketching out and getting the ears and the red Santa part done on the hat and then the ornament. Okay. So now let's, cause I'm still, I'm still kind of worried about some stuff not being dry. So uh, we're going to get a very fine brush and I'm just going to load it up, but I'm going to pat it down because we're going to make some stars. Okay. So make a draw a line and then cross it. Do the same thing to your paintbrush again. And we're gonna just make a little tiny lines coming out from the center. There you go. And then we're just gonna do that here and there. So line, and you can make them as big as you want as little as you want. I'm just gonna make four or five. Again, make sure you don't want a lot of paint brush, a lot of paint on your paintbrush because then it'll get chunky and then it, it'll be hard to, hard to cover up or hard to make those little tiny lines. So if that's four, let's do one more. Still very, we'll just put one right above him. Okay. Then I'm gonna take the end of my brush. I dipped it down in there and I'm just gonna go around my canvas. Okay, did that with silver. Now I'm going to do it with white. Okay, there you go. I'm going to do it a little more like that. Okay, here. 
Now you've got stars behind your cow. All right, so stretch a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put a little more white because we're about to we're about to we're about to use some white. Knock it down. Oops. Okay, get back. It wasn't from the end. Okay, so I'm going to clean that brush out really well. So we're, we're using white now, folks. Okay. So I'm gonna start, and as you see, I'm just kind of back and forth. white. Just filling in that little area there that we had marked off earlier. Right on the nose. Okay. So there we got our little fur patch going up the nose. Now I'm just going to start filling in the white part of the Santa hat. It's all willy nilly white. Because like I said, especially with this painting, a little bit of texture is, is a good thing because, you know, you think about a Santa hat, you think about cows hide and fur, it's all texture. So. Around there. Still got up there a little bit, but that's okay, because you know, we're gonna be fluffing all that out anyway. Okay. So we've got the white on there. And I'm just gonna go in and go along the cow body. Come on down around. Okay. Fill all that in. I've got a little paint splatter from earlier. You see that? That's yeah, probably where it was on my hand. And I was holding the, the canvas. And I'm just gonna get that edge there. And a little bit down here too. Okay. And we've got a little bit on the other side over here. It's gonna go around. That white showing up nicely on the camera. That's good. Down the bottom there. Got a little bit. You'll see like under the jawline, she's white. And you can add more black, more white. Like I said, even if you want, if you have a thing for brown cows, you can make you a brown cow, okay? Okay, now, awesome. We got our white in there. I'm gonna put that in the, the water. So now I'm gonna do the black, okay? And this part worried me when I was doing the, the, the original because it's a lot of black, and especially on her face, and I was like, how is this all gonna work out? How am I gonna get this to look right? 
and I was pleasantly surprised. Okay. Load up the paintbrush. I'm just gonna go along the edge there. And I apologize for that loud truck. Somebody trying to prove something outside. Carefully, see what I'm doing here. Because right now is where we're starting to make the definitions in her face. And once I'm finished, I'll show you. All right. I was even worried about her eyes. I was like, man, I gotta. And I'm just coming out just a little bit, not a lot, just to kind of give her give her face a little more definition. Okay. Starting to look like a cow, isn't she? <laughs> You'll see she's kind of jagged down through here. Okay. Fill it in, make it a little more chunkier. Okay. So I'm looking just back and forth between the two. And I'm I'm not far off. I'm yeah. So that's good. And let all that dry up for a second, and then we'll work down here on her body. And you'll see. Like down here on the corner, we got a little bit of a, a, a black triangle. So I'm just gonna just kind of fill in. You see, I've already got white down here, so. That part I did mess up on, but that's okay. We're good. I cleaned that white off. I'm gonna See, this is just your, like, you can make it as black as, you know, anything you want. Just 
And that painting, she looked like she had more of a collar. I don't know what I'll do this time. Kind of, because her fur isn't going to be exact, so filling in a little bit there. And I've just loaded up the tip of my brush now, and I'm just going to be like. Ruffling up. I'm gonna let that white dry a little bit because you see I've messed it up there, but that's okay. We we will take care of it because you know what? We always do, right? So here's the fun brush. Load it up with white. And I'm gonna move the fuzziness around my hat just by dabbing. Dab around. Okay, that black's a little wet, so we're gonna wait on that side. So we're gonna. And you see what Miss Mariah just did? I dipped my paintbrush in my black. <laughs> All right, so let's clean that off. Just by scooting the brush down. I don't know, you're like, oh my gosh, she just made it worse. No, I didn't. It's all right. It's all good. Okay, so we're going to come around here. So that's why it's important to wait for things to dry, right? And I did not even think one second about it. And I'm gonna go do the fuzziness here. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna cover with white. <laughs> All right, so where do we want to go now? I'm just looking at what still needs to dry. Okay, let's do this paintbrush right here. And a lot of this, cause it is black and white, you will have to accommodate and give yourselves some time to let the sections dry a little bit. Okay. So, we're going to work on her eyes. This paintbrush, a little bit of black. His eye. Okay. Now I'm gonna just bow it out a little bit, not much, because we don't want our cow to look weird. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and then 
do the same thing over here. Let's turn her upside down because we still got paint drying. And again. Now, we've got our eyes painted, and I'm going to take a little bit of white, just a little bit. I'm going to go along, try to see what's dry or not, and go along the top part of her eyelid. You see it's a little, it turns a little gray. That's fine, that's what I wanted. And then I'm gonna do the same thing along the bottom, okay? Do the same thing over here. Start on the inside and go out. Okay, and then just a tad bit along the bottom on the outside. Take my black and just smooth it out along the side here. Okay. That's how to do pretty well. Okay. So now we've got our eyes drawn. But she doesn't look as cute. Well, it's because she don't have her eyelashes yet. So, <laughs> using the same brush but very lightly, I'm gonna add black to the tip. Let's see, we'll do this one. We'll do, go at the top of the eyelid and just come out. Now you're like, oh, now she's all cute. Let's see, I might even add glamour up because everybody needs a glamorous cow right and this same one over here do the same thing all right cute cute same brush a uh, little bit of white on the tip of the brush and then i'm just gonna Just dab a little white up there for the color or for the light reflection on our eyeballs. Okay. Not bad, except for this big part down here I messed up on. But that's okay. We've got it. Look at all this black now. See, I don't I don't come out unscathed. Oh do 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 do. Let's see. Go back to our fun brush. Get the tips. And I think that black, yeah, it's drying. Just to dab along, make the... Make your fuzzy hat. And then do that again. Okay. And then we're going to go along the edges of the nose and bring that fur out a little more. Now, this is something else I found out when I was painting the original that you do need to give yourself some time and let it dry because you'll see, you can still see some of the black. Like it, it's kind of gray looking. You'll let that first layer of white dry come back and redo it and then it looks like the fur is sitting on top of the black. Come on now. There we go. And 
and see I, I hit a little bit of a chunk that is still a little wet so now I've got a section here that I left unpainted so I'm going to go in Fill that little area in. Okay. Bring it down. So see, she's coming along. Okay. Um. Clean up this brush. Get a little black on it. Now, I did not make this big of a mess when I was painting the first one. It's because I'm talking to you guys and I'm I'm having a good time. Okay, just gonna bring around that little bit of a collar there. Okay, let's see if we can do the same here without messing it up. Get that white straw here. I'm just going roughly along the edges. go awesome oh that's still super wet um do a little trick here some of you guys know this trick don't you remove some of that wet paint what is it Miss Mariah says there is nothing we can't fix so don't stress out we've got this and I always I always do don't I I really do hope some of you guys do this painting and share it with the library On the bottom there. Awesome possum. Okay. Now we got a little detail work. I always I keep looking at my camera. I'm like, please don't shut off my phone. I deleted a bunch of stuff, so that should that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so I added a little bit of brown just to to break up some of the all the black and the white. So it's just a smidge. I don't need a lot of paint. Load it up, then flatten it out, and then I just kind of here and there. Just kind of just worked it around.
just like that. Did the same thing with her little fluff ball down here. Kind of made little lines. And around her edges. Just quick little quick little dashes along. Just barely touching. Just around here. Just like that. Now, the nose, the nose, nose. Okay. So, like I told you, I just had red and white. Seeing that I've still got plenty of red and white on my, my plate here, I'm just going to get a clean brush. Take this. Just move some red down. Get some white and work it. Get some more white, work it. Okay. See, got some pink over here. I'm going to just color her nose. If it gets to looking a little too red, then we can just add some white to it. I'm just I'm just coloring in the nose area right now. Add a little white. And just going to go along the bottom there and do her bottom lip. Oops, got a little happy. We'll have to cover that up. Oh no, let's see. We'll just make her bottom lip a little fuller than we were going to. And let's see here. I'm gonna just do a little tea tiny black and just gonna go around the edges here. Just like that. And then across the, make the divide for her lips. Let's give her nose a second to dry before I start adding uh, her nostrils. So I'm going to just do a couple little lines like that and speckle them out. Speckled. She's a speckled little cat. Just, just to add a little, little more detail. Blow on her, get her to dry up. Okay, so a really thin one. I'm gonna put it back in action. That little bit of beige that we had for the, like the lines and stuff. I'm gonna go around her mouth a little bit. Just for a little more detail and, and breaking up of that black and white. Work it into the painting. 
like I told you, there's not much that we can't, we can't cover up, redo. Okay, so I'm just gonna test that black, or that pink a little bit and see how dry it is. There you go. Now, I'm just gonna sit back here and I'm gonna look at her for a second. Um, a little darker red. I'm gonna just add in here. Where we mix that, that red and white, there's a couple of shades. upper part of that bottom lip. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to, to, to take them back, look at them. All right, now not super satisfied with her her mouth there so I'm gonna get this paintbrush clean it up and we'll mix some more of that pink up Again, that ring light sometimes messes with me. Because we don't typically have that. pencil line that was still showing. It's not as, as, as well as I would have liked it to turn out, but you guys know what I'm wanting you to do. This is, this is just me being me. Okay. So, now we have today's cow. We have the other day. So when I talk about differences, you can tell. Now this one, of course, I, it took me uh, it took me about five hours simply because I was sitting down and I was also working. So I was up, down, moving around. This guy took me, well, an hour and 45 minutes. So at home, with you guys can, you know, like take your time, allow things to dry, better than what I, you know, because, you know, 
hour and 45 minutes, not a long time. Because our classes are typically, I set them up for two hours, but you guys know we always, <laughs> we always go over. And also, you know, a lot of canvas waving to dry and things of that nature. But all in all, I believe that we have two sassy looking cows here. And see, I'm gonna go back over because that black or that white has had enough time to dry. And I'm covering up to make it, you know, just not gray under there. There we go. Yeah. There she is. So here we've got our two Christmas cows. Yay! And you have, you know, this is my product the other day. I've walked you through this one. So I think I think we had a good a good day today. And like I said, I get my ideas from people that take my classes. Like um, before was the cat and cactus and the dog and the cactus. That was from uh, Wendy and this is from Delonda. So if you have any ideas, just shoot me an email. Like I said, it's Mariah at AllenCountyLibrary.com, M-A-R-I-A-H. And, or just send me a message on uh, Messenger or call. Like you, you call up here and you're wanting to know about a movie or uh, a book that you're wanting and be like, hey, maybe we ought to try to paint this next time. I would absolutely love that. <laughs> and I still have my art education classes the third Tuesday of every month. So um, this month we're not going to be painting anything. We're actually going to be talking about Santa Claus art in like commercials. Coca-Cola has this huge Santa Claus campaign and it's very interesting. So we're going to be talking about that next week. Uh, but yeah, I would love to get your ideas and, and figure out what you guys want to paint and, and what you want me to paint to show you how to paint and we will do it. I mean, what do we got, people? We got all this time on our hands and we're staying inside. We're trying to stay safe. And, you know, let's make it fun. You can order canvases online. Michael's has awesome sales all the time on canvases. You know, order you some paint and some canvases. Wait for that delivery to come in, that excitement that it's not just going to be a bill or <laughs> junk mail in your mailbox, that you're actually going to be getting the art supplies shop around get the best deals places like michael's and hobby lobby always have coupons and specials going just you know look for them sign up for their emails they're constantly sending them out get some fun and and creativity back in your life this has been such a hard time i i have not personally painted for myself in a long time and and I know it's just the the world and it's not it's not good on us creative people. But start looking at stuff, start making Pinterest boards of things that, you know, when my mood lightens, when the world's mood lightens, this is what I wanna do. So make, make a lighter mood board and start pinning stuff that you wanna do or stuff that, you know, you want to suggest to me to do, and we'll do it. We will absolutely do it because y'all are my peeps, and we, we have such a great time, and I really, really do look forward to a day when we can all get back together, and it's going to be soon. I promise. Just hang in there. Um, so, the Christmas cow painting, and uh, like I said, any questions, shoot, just shoot. Just call me, email me, message me, and I will answer anything. And if I don't have the answer, I will look it up. I will find it because <laughs> Google is my best friend. <laughs> so thank you so much for spending this almost two hours with me. And hopefully we'll be doing it again soon. Uh, just shoot your ideas at me and we'll get it together. Remember art education third Tuesday of every month. I'll, I'll be posting stuff and check out our YouTube channel. 
We have got so many programs on there. Our, our librarians here are just super creative and full of knowledge and information. Use us, learn how to, you know, do something or learn about something, Google searches, you know, just anything. And uh, check us out and, and I think you'll be really surprised. So this is Miss Mariah from the Allen County Public Library thanking you for spending this time with me and hopefully we'll be doing it soon. You have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll, we'll get back together soon. Thank you, bye.